Elsewhere around the world, police in London have made arrests in connection with Wednesday's terror attack. The death toll has been revised down to four people, including the assailant himself. Roughly 40 people were injured, including five Korean nationals. Kim mo -gyun, give us the updates. Police have arrested eight people in connection with Wednesday's terror attack in London that killed four people, including the attacker and a policeman, and injured some 40 others. At a press conference early Thursday local time, Britain's top anti-terror officer Mark Rowley said police had arrested the suspects overnight in raids on six addresses across London. Rowley said previously that a fast-paced investigation was underway on the assumption that the attack was Islamic-related terrorism. He declined to give details on the identity of the suspect. But he did identify one of the civilians killed, 43-year-old teacher Aisha Freyd. At around 3 p.m. Wednesday afternoon local time, an attacker drove through dozens of pedestrians on Westminster Bridge and fatally stabbed a police officer who was guarding the parliamentary complex. The assailant died after he was shot by the police. In Korea, Seoul's foreign ministry confirmed that five Korean nationals, mostly in their 50s and 60s, were among the injured. They were jostled by the escaping crowd. Four of them are set to return to Korea on Thursday, except for one woman who is being treated for a brain hemorrhage. South Korea's acting president, Hwang Kyo-an, said the government will focus on bringing them all home safely and protecting fellow Koreans living or traveling in London. Seoul's foreign ministry condemned the attack. The government strongly condemns the brutal attack against civilians that happened on the streets near the Houses of Parliament in London on March 22nd. World leaders have also denounced the latest act of terror. U.S. President Donald Trump offered condolences to the victims and offered his full support. Kim Mo-gyun, Arirang News.